Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. So today in this tutorial we are discussing about matrix. So we'll see what is the meaning of matrix and how we will use this in Python. Matrix is nothing but it is the rectangular arrangement of data or numbers. Or in other words we can say that it is a rectangular array of data. The horizontal entries in matrix are called as row and the vertical entries are called as column. This is a matrix. So these are rows and these are column. Okay, so this is a matrix. This matrix contains two row and two columns. So this is two by two matrix. So this is also matrix because it contains row and column. So it contains two rows and three columns. So this is two by three matrix. Next. In Python, we can implement this matrix using nested list or numpy arrays or using a class called as matrix in numpy library. Okay, so first we'll discuss about arrays and matrix because this comes under the numpy library. After completing this, I'll explain you how to use uh, nested list as matrix and how to perform many operation on that. Okay. So today here we'll discuss about the NumPy arrays and in the next tutorial we'll discuss about the matrix class. So NumPy is a library which allows us to create multi-dimensional arrays, right? So we created 1D array, 2D array, 3D array, 4D array like that. So 2D array is nothing but it contains rows and columns. The data or the numbers will be arranged in the rectangular arrangement. It contains rows and column. And these 2D arrays are called as matrix because both are the rectangular arrangement of data. And in this video series, we discussed about the many operation and functions which we can perform on this NumPy arrays. And we can perform all those operations on 2D arrays also. That means on matrix also. So I won't repeat it again, but here we'll discuss about the three operation. One is matrix addition, matrix multiplication and transpose of a matrix. We'll discuss about these three operation here. So first we'll talk about the matrix addition. So for matrix addition, we'll use symbol plus. Okay. So if A is a matrix and B is another matrix, we can add this matrix like this a plus b it is similar to the array addition right it will perform the element by element addition so i'll show you the example for this all right we have two arrays here and both these arrays are two dimensional so to perform addition i'll use a plus b and here we can see it will do element by element addition and it will give the result so 1 plus 10 11 2 plus 20, 22, 3 plus 30, 33, 4 plus 40, that is 44. I'll show you A and B. So it will perform 1 and 10, 2 and 20, 3 and 30, 4 and 40. Okay, so this is the element by element operation. Okay, so this is about the matrix addition. Next, we'll talk about the matrix multiplication. So the array addition and matrix addition was same. We used the same symbol, that is plus symbol. But this matrix multiplication and array multiplication is different. For the array multiplication, we use this symbol that is the multiplication symbol. But to perform the matrix multiplication, we need to use a method called dot. So I'll explain you how this matrix and array multiplication are different. All right. So we have two arrays here, array A and array B, both are two dimensional. So when we perform array multiplication, that is when we use this symbol, what it will do is it will do the element by element multiplication. That is nothing but it will multiply 1 and 10 will get 10, 2 and 20, 40, 3 and 30, 90, 4 and 40, 160. But this is not the way to multiply the matrix. To perform the matrix multiplication, we need to follow the different process, right? I hope you know how to multiply two matrix. To multiply the matrix, we need to follow this. Okay. So we need to multiply 1 and 10 plus 2 and 30. Okay. That result will be stored here. 
and next 1 and 20 and 2 and 40 1 and 20 2 and 40 that result will store here 3 and 10 4 and 30 that result will be stored here 3 and 20 4 and 40 that result will be stored here right we need to perform the matrix multiplication like this we can't use this symbol to perform this matrix multiplication we need to use this dot method so i'll show you the example so we have two arrays here if i perform a multiply b it will do the element by element operation we'll get 10 40 90 160 this is not the matrix multiplication this is the array multiplication if you want matrix multiplication then you should mention a dot b a dot dot b okay you should mention like this if you enter here we can see 70 100 150 20 that's what we got here 70 100 150 220 and this result will get when we perform the array multiplication element by element operation so this is about the array multiplication and uh, matrix multiplication till now we didn't talk about the dot method so we can use this dot as function also and as method also so if i take help so here we can see it is the dot function if you are using function then you should mention numpy dot dot a b the two matrix and out is none it will give the dot product of two arrays out is nothing but the output argument you can store the output here if you want you can store the output in another array and this dot function or dot method belongs to numpy library okay so it can be applied on any array okay so this is about the multiplication next we'll talk about how to get a transpose of a matrix so for this we can use transpose function itself so we already discussed about this how to get the transpose of array so i'll give you the link in the description box so we'll see the example for this if you want transpose of this you can use the transpose function okay like this or you can use uh, the method also a dot transpose okay so this is about how we can perform different operation on 2d array or matrix here we are using numpy library and in numpy library there are many predefined function which we can use to perform different operation that's why adding matrix or multiplying matrix or transposing matrix is not difficult here because we have predefined function we can just mention the function name and we can get the output but performing this operation without using numpy library on matrix is little bit trickier so we'll discuss about that also when we are taking nested list as matrix i'll explain you about these three operation using nested list in the next class we'll discuss about matrix class and how to create matrix using that so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care